Yo, 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 it's that 717 TJD. That's me. And welcome to today's video where I'm introducing you all to my creation. Welcome to the Chaos Rising Relays. This is a team event based loosely on track and field relay races. This one lap race, yes, you heard me correct, one lap race, begins as a standing start but with the full start penalties on. But don't worry, you and your team won't get disqualified for jumping the start. Thanks to KRT Piosco in the second example for that one. Each driver will complete 95% of the lap, but must stop as quick as possible at the start of the grid boxes. Get off the racing line and inform their next driver to start their lap. The starting drivers will begin in the position their team qualified in on the grid. Once the first lap drivers start, the next lap drivers move up along the start line. This will happen for all other drivers taking part. The reason for stopping at the start of the grid boxes is due to certain real world tracks having separate start and finish lines. As you can see in this example with Red Bull Short, you start the race underneath the lights, but you finish halfway down the final straight. To win this event, the first last lap driver to take the chequered flag wins. There is only a 30 second post race timer for the other teams to cross the line. If any team member crosses the line out of turn, the whole team will be disqualified and a rerun will take place but without that team. Here is example race 2 around Brands Hatch Indy, a track with the same start and finish line.
communication is very important in this so all team members do need to be in their own PS party so you can hear each other at all times when it's your turn to go. As you can see in the two races that have been going on in the background, it's quite a simple format and there is a lot of creativity to be had. Multi-class races will be happening, just not at the beginning. There also will be multi-lap races, so rather than just doing one lap, you could be doing two, three or four. If that is the case, you do need to keep the racing line clear at all times. As Dragon comes round for the last lap on this second example, I would personally like to thank Aussie Mike KRT Piosco and Super Dragon for their assistance in making this video. I would also like to thank GRT Saltier, GRT Angels Fan, and GRT Cliche for all their assistance helping with getting this format dialed. Hopefully, everyone's going to have loads of fun when we get this going and start rolling it out amongst the different communities. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.